Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the euro currency. So markets are preparing for a Fed statement. The euro is not an exception, so we can see relatively tight and current price action in recent session. Uh, but uh, in general, it seems that market still has some hopes that uh, Jerome Powell somehow touched the topic of the rising interest rates because market stubbornly stands around 119 areas in front of support where it's forming something that looks like the pen patient suggestion of some at least upward continuation. At the same time, I wouldn't count too much on this passion because everything could change in the blink of an eye. In the current circumstances, we could discuss probably the overall strategy that uh, we could follow. So the most simple way, of course, as usual, is to do nothing. It's the most conservative approach. Wait when the release will happen. In the result of the release, you could act accordingly, trying to take the position on some pullback after the first uh, reaction starts. Uh, here is we have a few moments to take into consideration. Uh, on the dollar index, we know that we have untouched long-term weekly target around 87.40. In what conditions market will follow to it? Correspondingly, on the euro currency, we could say in what conditions market starts to rally above the previous top, so 123.50. Probably this could happen if Jerome Powell would try to come down a bit bond traders and make impact on appreciation of the United States dollar. Uh, given a hint that, for instance, Fed is concern, his concern about the too fast pace of the interest rate rising, and it will keep an eye on it. So, given the signal that they start to prevent extraordinary rally on interest rates, especially on the background of the negative real interest rates, these circumstances we would expect significant upward action. Uh, it may be not, will not be the straightforward right above the top, but that will be a significant signal that could trigger a significant retracement. As on the bond market, dollar could be pushed down again, downside direction, correspondingly euro could get the upward continuation. This is the first moment. Second moment, if Jerome Powell tells nothing, and it means that Bonds will get the green line again for possible more appreciation, while in general it will press on the euro currency as arrival of the dollar, just because dollar gets advantage in a more return on the currency. Rising interest rates provides greater return on the currency, and that makes it more attractive. That could push euro currency lower. Previous time when everybody wants Jerome Powell to sell, tell something was in this action. Once he hasn't told anything, you can see this collapse. So it's approximately for 200 pips to the downside. In this case, maybe reaction will be not as strong, but anyway, that will be so market could really have the chance to retest the weekly strong support around 118 area. It probably could happen if even later some pullback will start. But the first reaction probably will be to the downside. In the current circumstances, guys, we see the volatility in both directions might be significant, whatever Trump Powell will tell. And when you see such search of such kind of the scenarios, uh, this is well. In this case, you could use the type of entry uh, in the market that suggests buying of the volatility, and usually. It could be done by using the stop buy orders or stop sell orders. Because in general, if you'll take a look at the patterns that we have, they are relatively contradictive. And uh, depending on your view on the market, you could find the confirmation of your position. 
For instance, here you can see the first retracement, that's tight consolidation, mostly suggests existence of some flag or pattern, pattern that in turn suggests further upward continuation rate. So on the fault diagram chart, you could see it even better. You could see first leg up, stubborn standing above the 50% support in your accounts, so market shows downward action, but it freeze around this level and then tight waiting for the Fed meeting. So this is the type of retracement after the upper deck. Here's you also could see kind of the sign of the bullish dynamic pressure. So trend stands bearish, but price action stands flat. That's theoretically the background for those who have such a chance to go long. Uh, also you could recognize here the butterfly potentially, right? So this market could show the butterfly. But more significant will be kind of the upside action. This type is most common expectation in case of the upside continuation. So we'll something of that sort. Back to the 2070, which is also, you can see, resistance here, 618 level. So this minimal target, if uh, it will be bullish, and Jerome Powell tells something about interest rates. But uh, additionally, I could ask you uh, why we couldn't get something of that sort. This is also possible. So overall price action here stands very choppy and, well, heavy. Lots of overlapping candles. This is definitely not the continuation of the upper action. It's mostly retracement. Here you could see minor head and shoulders shape. If you drop your time frame to the five minute chart, you'd see it better. Where we have the ABC patient with the OP right at the border of the triangle that we have on the follow time frame chart, 618 level. And this could be kind of a garbage cheaper to sell. But what's more important is that potentially it could become the butterfly with our initial target. If you remember this A, B, C top pattern that we discussed on the weekend, it's all P stands slightly below 1890, hip support. That could be the first destination point that market could reach. And uh, currently, I'd, I also do not see some reasons to totally deny this scenario. It really could happen as a starting point. Maybe later it will be downside breakout or something of that sort. But it also could happen. So in such circumstances, um, you, you will have to make the difficult decision, actually, because a lot of tricky moments, as you can see, stand here. Uh, and that is just common thing when you stand in uncertainty and you come into the Fed statement. If you still would like to go through the doom and gloom on the Fed statement, maybe it makes sense to think about using stop entry orders. So I'm not trying to take position based on the, this butterfly or inside of this passion, but maybe it makes sense to take position on the breakout. If no direction will be chosen, then you just will not get your entry. But if Jerome Power will tell something, for instance, and it will be strong action, and definitely if you're taking the position on the breakout, um, you will be in the right direction because your second stop entry order will not be executed. So you're just taking you two stops orders. For instance, uh, with the upper action, you could try to buy somewhere around 1970, around the C point, with the breakout of this level. The market will break it up and starting rising. And trying to use a stop sell order um, on the breakout, for instance, 1850 or 1880, right here. So in this case, you will take the position only if this will be a bearish solution from the Fed market starts accelerating to the downside. And your buying order will be not executed. So you could use, of course, different uh, levels. It's just for explanation of the position taken, uh, depending on your own view on the market. But that's the way how you could act. Because currently taking position inside of this pen, uh, well, it's just kind of the gambling, so we do not know because currently today everything depends on the statement and that is should stand 50-50. So any technical patterns that we have, country so far, the task here currently. And uh, it's actually two major positions currently is either, as I said in the beginning, wait for direction when the statement already will be given and then take the position on the retracement on the second leg of the overall upward or downward action, or trying to use stop entry orders, something of that sort. But we will see maybe by the end of today's session, uh, Wednesday morning, we also will get something um, that provides some more clarity on the overall situation. 
But at the, at the current moment, uh, you can see that from the technical point of view, we do not have clear advantage in, on, on any side, in a bullish or bearish direction. So that's what we have currently in Europe.